Today we're going to see another generative recursion approach, building on the curve tree data structure, which we're going to use to measure and draw curves defined by functions. Here's a simple curve drawn in black. And here's an approximation to it drawn in red. This isn't a very good approximation. We're approximating it with exactly one straight line segment. But when we approximate it, we have the advantage that now it's really easy to figure out how long the curve is, or at least how long that approximation is. Here, it's 848 pixels long. With a few more segments, we've got a slightly longer curve, and it's a little closer to the black line. We can go more and more and more and each time the length gets longer and the curve gets closer. We're subdividing the problem each time into a sequence of straight lines and splitting those straight lines in the middle to make things larger, smaller and smaller and smaller. As we keep going, we get more and more and more segments and we get a longer and longer curve and the black line slowly disappears. Here's another curve generated by the sine function. With just one segment, we don't have a very good approximation. With a few more, things are starting to get a little better and our distance is getting longer. Now we've suddenly started looking a little more like the sine function. With a few more, we've got 73 segments now and we've got almost twice as long a curve. The number of segments really does determine how accurate we are. With a few more, we're now very close to the actual curve. You can't see it anymore. And our length has gotten even longer. This subdivision process is how we can take a complicated thing like a mathematical function, subdivide it, and solve those subproblems. And when we subdivide it enough, we can get a very accurate answer. This repeated subdividing until we get an accurate enough answer is an extremely common approach to solving many problems. It fits nicely with generative recursion, and it's the one we're going to use to measure and draw curves.